Hey everyone, welcome to part two of my mechanic license blog. Um, so if you watch part one, you know where I talked about, I've talked about things like how I'm kind of older than a lot of those students in there. Some of them kind of twice their age, almost twice their age. Some of them, uh, I'm closer in age to some of my professors <laughs> than I am to students. Um, but before I get into some of the classes, I'll start that on the next videos and what's involved and what you learn and, and the ins and outs of the trade for those who are interested. I'm going to talk about COVID um, because it's really played a significant role in the learning process. Um, so I think it'd just be kind of important to talk about. Um, for me, it wasn't such a big deal. Uh, I'll tell you why. Some of these students, again, some, although they're young, um, have are definitely students of the game. They know the ins and outs. They've done extensive work. Uh, they've probably started like me, like working on cars before I even could drive, things like that. Um, some uh, are fairly knowledgeable. They've done things like tire changes, maybe some brake work or spark plug work or anything like that, but nothing extensive. But they have some knowledge. And I'll be honest with you, there's actually a lot. I would say at least half of the students there have very little experience, have barely ever touched a wrench or jacked up a car or anything like that. So um, everything was new and fresh for a lot of them. Now, I'm the opposite, right? I've never gone to schooling or anything. I've learned everything, the craft, as I've gone, as I've made mistakes, um, as I've researched online, uh, you know, experience. So uh, there's a lot of things in theory I need to know, but the practical on how to use things, I know this already. Um, but so for me, it wasn't also a big deal because of COVID-19. My daughter is home. Uh, for those who don't know, I have a, a Nexus Mini, Mini Me. <laughs> and uh, she's uh, she's oh, going to be 12. Um, as of this video, she'll be 12 in the next month. And um, she has been uh, home because of COVID. And so me being home has been helpful because... Um, then I don't have to worry about arranging for supervi supervising of, uh, for her. I can help her when she needs help. And uh, then I'm home in my comfort zone and things like that. Um, the, the theory is what I really need more of the learning. Practical is good too, but the theory was good. Um, but some of these students didn't have any of that. And some of them who need to hold that wrench and who need to... Uh, do a punch something for the first time or, or use a torque wrench or, um, or any of those tools, uh, you know, how to air up tires, how to remove tires off a rim and put it back on and, you know, things like that. A lot of this was missed or done very quickly, you know, um, for these, to give you an idea of the classes, every two weeks, sorry about that. Um, every two weeks, um, you will get, uh, about eight classes that are online only. And then you get another class uh, that's in class, one or two a week, depending on your schedule. And then that's it. That's it. So um, everything's completely online. You just get a little bit that you can do uh, actual practical work. Um, it was enough. You got the, the major stuff. The, the professors did a good job of kind of working that around. So you're getting the major stuff. Um, like you are getting... Um, uh, to, to do some break work in this sem semester two and things like that. Um, but everything is kind of uh, condensed. And I'll talk about that in the future. Don't worry about that. I'll talk about it in the future. But it's just, it's been kind of a crazy, crazy time. When you're coming into school, you have to fill out that report. I'm sure some of you who are working have done that. We had to fill out information saying you don't have a fever, you haven't encountered anyone with COVID-19, uh, you have uh, not been out of the country in the last two weeks, anything like that. You know, it's, um, I have to do all that come in, I gotta show my ID, I gotta show them my uh, my, my approved, right, um, cert certification I got every couple weeks. So it was a bit of a process. Um, not a big deal, I'm not complaining. I know people have to do this every single day. I have to do it once or twice every two weeks. So I'm not complaining. But it has made the education system uh, and the education process vastly different. Um, and I do feel bad. And I do wonder. I'm not the only one obviously going through this. There's other students and other colleges and stuff all over the country, all over um, this whole continent, right, that are having this. So I'm wondering how that's going to play out for our future mechanics because, um, you know, some of them are just getting this theory and not a lot of practical. I have the benefit, I'm one of the few people that have the benefit of extensive practical 
before the theory. So um, it will be interesting to see how this will play out for mechanics of the future. Um, but uh, yeah, I just wanted to kind of talk about that. If you guys have any questions or anything on how COVID is and um, how it affected my schooling or what, if you are planning to go into this and had questions uh, in, in regards to uh, COVID in your future with it, by all means, leave it in the comments. I just wanted to kind of touch base on that a little bit. Uh, but starting from the next blog, I'm going to start touching on each of the classes and talking about them and what's involved and what you learn and things like that to give people who want to know knowledge for it. Again, this is based, once again, on... I'm in Ontario, Canada. This is based on the Canadian, um, you know, apprenticeship and mechanic system. It's slightly, it's different in the U.S. Similar, but there are some differences. So I just wanted to point out on that. But, uh, yeah, I want to thank you guys and gals out there very much for watching this video. I will see you all in the next one. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.